Welcome back to MathMind. Today, let's take a look at a question from the Canadian Math Olympiad where we are trying to solve for the value of x given that it's equal to the sum of two square root expression. Like most questions in the Math Olympiad competition, there's usually an indirect, less time-consuming way to solve these kind of problems. So that's the approach that we are going to take instead of taking a square on the right-hand side and deal with a very complicated algebraic expression. To begin, I'm going to let y equal to the conjugate of this expression, meaning y will be equal to the square root of x minus 1 over x minus the square root of 1 minus 1 over x. And if I take the product of x, y, then that will take the form of a plus b, a minus b, which in turn can be expressed as the difference of a square and b square. Let me write everything out properly. If I take the product of x, y, that is going to be equal to x minus 1 over x bracket square minus 1 minus 1 over x square. And obviously the square and the square root will cancel each other. So what, I'm, what I end up with will be x minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x. From here, negative 1 over x and positive 1 over x will cancel each other, meaning x, y will be equal to x minus 1 and y will be equal to x minus 1 over x. This is the equation that we are going to be using, so I'm going to call it equation 1. For the next step, I'm going to try to work out what is my x plus y. And if we go back to look at our original expression, that's my x right here and that's my y. If I do x plus y, then this part and this part will cancel each other. Meaning I'm essentially left with two times the blue color portion. So let me write this out properly. x plus y is equal to x plus y is equal to 2 times the blue color square root, meaning 2 times x minus 1 over x. From here, I'm going to substitute the y value from equation 1 into this part right here. So what I'm going to end up with is x plus x minus 1 over x is equal to 2 times the square root of x minus 1 over x. For the time being, we are going to leave the square root on the, on the right-hand side alone and instead work on simplifying the left-hand side. If I work on the left-hand side, I'm going to end up with x plus 1 minus 1 over x is equal to the right-hand side of 2 times square root of x minus 1 over x. If I rearrange the left-hand side, what I end up with is 1 plus x minus 1 over x is equal to 2 times x minus 1 over x. And if you look carefully, this part right here and this part right here is the same. In other words, it's time to visit our old friend of substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let a equal to x minus 1 over x just to make the whole thing easier to handle. With this substitution, now the expression becomes 1 plus a is equal to 2 multiplied by the square root of a. If I take the square on both sides, I have a, 1 plus a square equals to 4a. Opening up the bracket on the left hand side, I have 1 plus 2a plus a square is equal to 4a. In other words, I have a square minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. 
If you try to solve this using the quadratic formula, what I have is a is equal to minus minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 which is equal to 1. So we have now established a which is equal to x minus 1 over x is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and try to solve for x. I have x minus 1 over x equal to 1. So taking the common denominator, I have x, x squared minus 1 is equal to 1. In other words, x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, we are going to go back to the quadratic formula to solve for the value of x. I have x equal to minus minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 minus 1 over 2. And that's equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. Let's take a little time to explore both our answers to see whether they are acceptable. I have x either equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. The value here is greater than 0 and the value here is smaller than 0. Let's take a look at our original expression. I have x on the left hand side equal to the product of two expressions in square root. That being the case, then we know that x cannot be a negative value. So in other words, the only acceptable answer that we have will be x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. That concludes our video today. I thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Take care.